Now into the eighth week post-surgery. Oh my God. <laughs> Time flies, but yeah, it also feels like I've had this eight years, not let alone eight weeks. But this week, again, I've noticed something different, which is why I want to talk about it today. And that is the topic of pancaking. Now, I love pancakes, but <laughs> until this week, I have definitely gone off them. So what pancaking is, is essentially as your output is thickening up, which does happen over the first like six to eight weeks, as your body's getting used to it and you're getting in a bit of a more of a routine, your output naturally starts to thicken. But what can happen with this is that all the output can sometimes collect like around the stoma like this so it forms like a bulge of output rather than falling straight into the bag and this is what's been happening with me and particularly at night time when I wake up and I have a look down all the output is sat around the stoma rather than being in the bag now this is problematic well it can be problematic because if it's not moving away from the stoma and into the bag the only other way it can move is out and often when people get pancaking, they also get leaks. And I've had two leakages now because of this issue. One, when I was sat down at my desk, it forces outwards, horizontally out the side. And another one was at night when, again, I woke up and the same thing happened. But the positive thing is that the output is thickening up. However, I was told two tips which would help prevent this issue. The first one being when you do your bag change, there's a small round filter at the top of the bag which lets air out and gas. What you can do is actually when you change your bag is press down on that filter. So there's a slight bit of air left in the bag which can help the output move down towards the bottom quite easy. But for me, I. I really didn't like the sound of that because I like the bag to lie as flat as possible under my clothes and I go to the gym and I wear quite tight clothes so I was a bit like mm, I don't think that's going to work for me however there is another tip which I found really helpful and that is again when you do your bag change is to use a little bit of olive oil or cooking oil coconut oil literally any type of oil and just line the inside of the bag with it. So I kind of sprinkle a few drops of oil and smush the bag around, make sure the oil's all kind of everywhere inside. And what that does is when the output comes out, it encourages it to just slip. It's more of a lubricant, which helps the output move away from the stone and into the bag. And I've been doing that now for three days. And touch wood, <laughs> no more pancaking because the leaks even though I had two, I just, I had to get on top of this issue. I did not want this to keep happening, especially at night time. So I'm hoping that was helpful. Two key tips to stop pancaking. Pressing the filter when you change your bag to leave a slight bit of air in the bag to help encourage the output to fall. But also my favorite is to put a little bit of olive oil or some sort of lubricant into the bag to help encourage it down. So fingers crossed that will work. And if anybody else has got any other tips to stop pancaking, comment and let me know.